Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to try and link a Fortnite account that was previously linked to a different PSN onto a new PSN. So I made a video before this one of how to upgrade a ghost account and I purposely overrided my account that was on the PSN. Then I upgraded that ghost account that I made to a full Epic Games account. So if I go to the user, Rick's YTC, that's the one that I made the ghost account on and, and upgraded it to a full Epic account, which has override my previous account. So it should not associated with a PSN or an Xbox gamer tag because now this has a separately new Epic Games account on. So I created this PSN here. I've loaded up Fortnite. It's asking me to link an account. Now I want to link an account that was previously linked to a different PlayStation Network account. So I'm going to have a go and see if it works. So I'm going to press X. It's going to come up with this box here. I'm going to have to go over to Epic Games now to the www.epicgames.com slash activate to put that code in there and try and link it up to this new PSN. So I'm over on the activation page here, which is this page here. This is where I'm going to activate the code, which is on the screen. So this is basically going to link the PSN that I'm on now to Epic Games. It should ask me to sign in, but make sure before you press any of this, you are signed out of Epic Games. And now it's going to ask me to put my Epic Games email and password for the account that I want to connect this PSN to. So I'm going to put that in now. I'm going to press login now. It says your device has been activated and your account is ready. And then it says login failed. Fail to link an account already associated with a different account. Now that's pretty strange because I've just upgraded the ghost account, which I overrided my previous Epic account. So it's saying that I've got two Epic Games account linked to one PSN. It doesn't look like you can do that. So I'm going to switch the user. I'm going to log back into Fortnite. So I'm in the lobby now, I'm on the account that I upgraded to a full Epic Games account in my previous video. You can see the level is set to level 3, there are no V-Bucks in there and I've enabled 2FA to get the boogie down dance. So if I go to my locker, you can see I haven't got any cosmetics in there apart from the boogie down dance. So I'm going to go back over here. Now what I'm going to do is disconnect this account from my PSN, which will in turn log me out on the PSN, the PlayStation 4. And then I'm going to sign back in on this PSN with my previous account. So I'm on my Epic Games account. I'm going to disconnect this account, which is on the PS4. I'm going to click all the boxes and then hopefully it should sign me out or disconnect my PlayStation. And there you have it. It's successfully logged me out. Right, I'm going to press retry now. I'm going to press start. It's going to go to the link and account. I'm going to press X to link an account. Then I'm going to have to go to epicgames.com activate again, but make sure you log out of the Epic Games account. So I've logged out of Epic Games. I'm going to go back on the activation page. I'm going to put the code which is on my screen. I'm going to hit continue. Now I've put the account in there that I want to link it to and remember this was an account that I overrided with that ghost account and then I upgraded it. 
So I'll click login now. Your device has been activated and your account is ready. And it's now refreshing. I'm gonna jump straight into the lobby. And there you have it. We've got level six, 200 V bucks, and you can see Rick's YouTube UK. The reason why it's saying that is displaying my epic display name. I'm gonna quickly show you why it does that now. So, if I close the application and start it back up, it will display my PSN name. So when you link account and link it back up, it will always display your epic display name, the display name that you'd use on a PC. And then the next time that you log in onto Fortnite, it will display your PSN name. And there you have it, my display name has changed to my PSN name. So all I have to do now to get my Ghost account or my new Epic Games account back is actually go back to Epic Games now, disconnect this account, it will log me back out, I'll get back onto the login screen. Back to Epic Games, it will generate that code, go back up onto the activation page, punch the code in, make sure I'm signed out of Epic Games, then sign back into that new account that I created on Epic Games. And then I'd have the other account back. So that's having two accounts associated with one PSN. Unfortunately, I thought by making a ghost account, overriding this account, and then upgrading it to a full Epic Games account, would let that overridden account be associated with a different PSN. But it doesn't look like you can do that. What you can do though, is simply log out of this account and then log into your new account. And you can keep doing that. So you can create as many ghost accounts as you want. As long as you keep upgrading them using a different email, you can flick through your accounts by just doing that. Remember, I make Fortnite videos, so please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll get back to you with another one. Thanks for watching.